Hello everybody, my name is Charlie and I am doing this video to show off some demonstrations of sand casting sprue and runner design um, that I simulated by, oh, here's one, by printing a cross section of a sort of typical sand mold. I had to make some changes. Um, this is not an original idea. I was inspired by Andrew Martin, who did some uh, incredible experiments with an actual sand mold and a piece of refractory glass, and then actually, you know, poured aluminum down in here. And I wasn't brave enough to try that. So instead, I printed sort of this typical cross section and um, just used, you know, plexiglass and used. Um, water with food coloring in it instead of aluminum so um this is after i used it and um you can see it's stained so uh this is a traditional uh sort of hobbyist setup where you've got you know sort of a carved out uh pouring cup going down a long a large straight non non-tapered sprue like a big fat sprue and then into a really big oversized runner and then this is all kind of worst case stuff into a small gate and this is you know this represents an actual part that you would uh, cast um, the cavity it made in the mold and then a big riser which didn't really uh, factor in to but anyway uh, so I actually poured water through this and I got a slow motion and I'll show you that right now and you'll see what uh, people were talking about with the um, turbulence, especially in the sprue that this causes. So now immediately, once it starts going down the sprue, you're gonna see a lot of cavitation, just because it can't fill the sprue, and then a lot of sloshing down in that oversized runner. And supposedly that's very bad. You get a lot of... Uh, oxide film that then gets folded into the metal and ultimately into your casting. Okay, now this is a second uh, demonstration that I printed and then glued a piece of acrylic to. And uh, this represents a more modern design that you're starting to see on the YouTubes and uh, apparently uh, represents uh, both some ideas in the professional world and some research um, done fairly recent times. So we have a an actual cup that the metal is poured into and then it can gently go over and into a tapered sprue so that as the metal speeds up it um, it uh, goes through, you know, it's sort of constant flow. The As the metal speeds up, the area goes down so that uh, you don't create cavities in the sprue flow. And then a small runner, the same area as the base of the sprue, into a large gate that slows down the flow. And this is actually gating through a riser, so it goes through a riser first and then into the part. And uh, there's also... Uh, a surge trap here or a spin trap uh, that some people use and I just was curious to see how that affects things so uh, I'll show you it being poured and we'll talk a bit more Okay, so first the cup is going to fill, and you're going to see some turbulence form on those sharp edges at the top of the sprue. And i uh, been warned that uh, you definitely don't want sharp corners there, and I can see why. Uh, now the runner, that smaller runner, filled almost immediately with a lot less uh, turbulence in it, so I think that's uh, definitely a good thing. And uh, yeah, overall, uh, very interesting, I thought. 